California's Long Valley Caldera supervolcano has again been shaken today by Nevada's 4.4 magnitude earthquake, as we're going to see on the map. Now, this is these are pictures of Long Valley. As we know, it's a very high threat volcano on the Walker Lane Fault System. These, this is the magma underneath it, as you can see right here. That's also the magma coming from Baja California. The western arm goes under uh, San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System, the high threat volcanoes, and it also feeds into uh, Utah. That's where we had the Salt Lake City March 18, very big earthquake, and we still have swarms there. That one was 5.7, and then uh, two weeks later on March 31st, we have a 6.5 out of nowhere hitting uh, Idaho. And as you can see here, that plume goes into Yellowstone, turns west, and it's very shallow under the surface in Idaho. So this uh, area is full of magma. This is one of uh, the United States super volcanoes that we have. It's a very high threat volcano. Let's take a, take a look at the map and see what's going on there. And this is the uh, quake that we're talking about. We also had another one after that, but we're talking about this one. Okay, we're not talking about the swarms. We have swarms all week. And these are just the ones that are above 2.5 magnitude. We've also had one, here's Mono Lake. We also had one at exactly at uh, Long Valley Caldera. This is the Long Valley Caldera area. Just because we have a borderline does not mean it's not the same area. This is the same area of Long Valley Caldera. Okay. This is the Walker Lane Fault system right here. This is the San Andreas Fault. This is the Garlic Fault. This is Ridgecrest around here. And uh, let's go to our map. Okay, 12 people reported feeling it. There's hardly anybody living out there. But this is, uh, this is our shake map. And this is Mono Lake of Long Valley Caldera. You can see the intensity of the shake maps of the USGS. This is USGS map. And uh, pulling out, we can see where our fault lines are. This is San Andreas Fault right here. This is the Garlic Fault. This is the Walker Lane Fault System. It's a series of faults, and this is where we have all the high threat volcanoes of uh, California. This is Ridgecrest right there. This is Long Valley Mono Lake. Let's just come in a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that it has been sh it's been shaken quite a lot lately. Now let's go to our Long Valley map. Long Valley uh, uh, concerning volcano discovery. Long Valley right there. Normal seismicity. Okay, well, what, Long Valley normal seismicity. The thing is that this, these Nevada earthquakes uh, are from a volcanic field, volcanic fields in Nevada. Nev although all of Nevada is a volcanic field, actually, if you just look at it. Uh, this is where we're, t this, that's Mono Lake around there between Aurora, Bodie, and Adobe Hills. Adobe Hills isn't even on here. Okay, so it's not nine volcanoes, it's more than nine. And uh, we have Soda Springs as well. Steamboat Springs, Soda Springs. Um, these are supposedly, uh, that look, let's look at this one. Uh, this is supposedly extinct. It doesn't, it, because they're extinct, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, look at the, if you look at the video um, from yesterday having to do with a, a volcano, an extinct volcano in China, it's, it's filling up with magma. It's extinct volcanoes do fill up with magma, as what happened recently last year with the Kamchatka volcano that wasn't even on the volcanic list. On Russia's volcanic list, it was uh, considered extinct, and they found that it was filled to the brim with magma and ready to, ex to uh, erupt, so they had to evacuate the towns around that volcano. Uh, so it doesn't mean that because they're extinct that they're not filling with magma, because after all, we saw from that map that this whole area has magma underneath. So it's inflating. And it's very close to Mono Lake right there, as we can see right there. Um, lunar Crater. I can't remember when the last time that these erupted were. Let's go to the one around, uh, let's go to Lunar Crater since they have. Lunar Crater, lava flows, fissures. Um, okay, for just as one example. I believe to have formed about 15,000 years ago, one of Nevada's six natural landmarks.
okay? This was 15,000 years ago. Just uh, one example. Now let's go to Long Island, uh, Long Valley, sorry. Long Island. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. I come from all I, I'm from Long Island anyway. So anyway, now, um, okay. What's happening here? They took away the information from Long Valley? What happened? This is not what we used to read. Activity uprate, tiny quakes continue to be recorded under the Long Valley caldera. Uh, they used to have the fact that we that it was filled with, uh, it was inflating with, ma with uh, magma. Where, where is all this? Why, um, why did they take it off? Anyway, it is inflating with magma. I don't know why they changed and they have a lot less information that they used to have. And they don't have the latest earthquakes, but anyway, that's okay. Uh, I just want you to know that it is inflating, and this is shaking. Every time this area shakes, it shakes. Um, I don't like the fact that they took off the map as well. They took off the map. Why did they do that? The map with the legend. That's just crazy. Why did they do that? They took off. Uh, they took off the legend of the map, showing uh, the Mono Lake and the Inyo craters. Anyway, a large 17 by 32 kilometer long valley caldera, the result of a giant explosion that happened about uh, 760,000 years ago, and formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The, the caldera is being, uh, has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. And in order to better study it, you can go to Long Valley Observatory. Okay, so this is what's happening. We know that this area now is being shaken by this almost daily um, Mina, Nevada uh, earth, uh, earthquake swarms. And obviously, it's a volcanic field. And uh, we have to tie in the fact that, because of the fact that it is inflating, and we have a volcanic, uh, volcanic, active, volcanic fields, and the fact that, that it could be inflating by magma, and something is happening there. Now, remember that this is what we saw in Ridgecrest before the big earthquake. We saw a tremendous amount of earthquakes, especially starting in March, of last year before the July of last year earthquakes. A tremendous amount of increase in swarms. And remember, Ridge Chris is in the Coso Volcanic Field. Coso Volcanic Field, Long Valley Caldera, is a super volcano. And Minas, as we said before, the Nevada area is, uh, that whole thing is full of uh, all these uh, volcanoes. Okay? So, all of you there, please be very careful because of the fact that you're being shaken quite a lot by this thing. There's not that many people living there, but we do have um, a geothermal plant in Long Valley called Dara Supervolcano, just as we have in the area of Ridgecrest. We have another geothermal plant there too. Okay, so please be careful and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.